12 things you need to know about this Saberforms NeoPixel lightsaber. Let's get right to it. So this is called the Judger. And if you like this lightsaber and you want to buy it at any point, go to the description box down below. There's a link. There's a link that if you click on it and you go through their website and buy it, that helps me. So I appreciate it if you decide you want this saber, if you want to do that. So the first thing you need to know about this saber is look how beautiful this is. This is, look at this. This is etched. This is not a decal. This is not a sticker. This is etched into the aluminum. Speaking of aluminum, number two, the feel of this lightsaber. Look at the look at the grip on this thing, okay? I've got two buttons to control here. You can grip it here. You can grip it here if you're a spinner, if you like doing spins and stuff like that. So uh, it's got a great feel to it. It's lightweight comparatively. I mean, it's got some heft, but it's not like some of the other lightsabers that I have uh, uh, felt where it's like, you know, significantly heavy. This is like, this feels like it'd be good for spinning for sure. Number three, the sound. So let's fire this baby up. It's a lightsaber after all. Listen to that. Beautiful speaker, very little distortion, even at the high end. In fact, let's go ahead and put it on the high end for you. Press both buttons in order to get in the volume mode. Go to maximum volume, press both buttons again, and then listen to that speaker. It doesn't float, there's no distortion. Very good. Let's lower that so you can hear my voice. <laughs> All right, number four, sound fonts galore. The fourth thing you need to know about the Sabres, you get tons of sound fonts. So like that was Obi-Wan, that's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Press this button real quick. The Butcher. The Butcher. Press it again. Leia. Leia Saber. Sounds like honey bees. The air boarding party. Vader! You get Vader's sound font. Now, obviously, Vader's got a red beam, so, like, you can change the color. So let me show you how to do that. So let's say we got Vader Saber right here and we want to change the colors. So number five would be you can change the color. So let's see, you press the button and then twist and then twist and then twist and twist and yellow. And now we're on red. Now we got a red Saber for Vader. Pretty cool, huh? Excellent. All right, the sixth thing that you want to know about this saver is that it comes with flash on clash automatically. Now, what does that mean? When you ignite the saber and you hit another saber or anything else, there's a little flash. Did you see that? And it makes that little noise. And it varies up and down the blade because there are little NeoPixel lights in here. And it has a, a little pattern it'll go in different parts so it looks like it's kind of a random effect very cool all right number seven it has smooth swing and when i say smooth swing i mean smooth listen so here's the background hum when you're holding it still see when i move it listen to that that is so accurate it is so sensitive I have played with other lightsabers that you have a delay or you really have to accentuate the effect, like the move, the motion, almost smack it in order to get it to make that smooth swing sound. But this sounds like you can shoot a movie with this. All right, number eight, it also has lockup. Now what's lockup? Well, remember when like Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi were fighting in the first movie and when they, their lightsabers would like touch each other for a while, there would be like a flash and a, like a feedback loop. So you can do that right here. Just press and hold and then let go. And now it's like your lightsabers are locked up. Press again and it stops. So lockup effect. Okay, number nine, it has force effects. So like if I hold the button in and rotate it like this, 
you get like a force effect. Sometimes it even has voices. Let's see. So this is the Palpatine font, obviously, with that wicked laugh, you know. So fight, ignite this, and then go. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? <laughs> Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? So you can have a little, like, sound effects like that. Sometimes there's voices and that sort of thing, so that's cool. All right, uh, number 10. Uh it has ignition effects. Okay, so now when I ignite it, that's just a normal like stable ignition effect. But let's say I wanted something that was unstable. Take the first button, press and hold. You hear that noise? That means that you've changed the ignition. Uh, what would you call it? Font, I guess? Anyway, the way it's gonna ignite, so watch. So that was different. Try another one. So there's nine different styles like this. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? race car one stacks up this one that sounds like the alarm whenever you would see like in the mandalorian the 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 dark troopers at least that's what it is if that's not what it is tell me in the comments below that's from the top down and i think we should be back to the beginning here yeah, that's your basic. So we're going to leave it on that because number 12, the other reason that you need to know this, oh, I'm sorry, number 11, the other reason you need to know this is because it has blade effects as well. So you have the ignition effect on startup, but you also have blade effects, which is the way the blade reacts. So like, uh, for instance, let's just, that's just normal, right? So if I press the second button and hold it, it says unstable. So now it's like Kylo Ren's saber, right? It's like it flashes a little bit off and on. It's not entirely steady. Pulse. Pulse. So this one, it like pulses a little bit, like a heartbeat, you know? Cross. I don't know what that said. Let's try this one. Cross. Cross. So the beams cross in the middle. And it rotates, it cycles of light. Infinity. Infinity. It's just like kind of like strobes through each one of the colors, like gradually. Wave. Wave. Wait till you see the next one. Rainbow. 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 <laughs> and this one. Fire. Fire. I personally like fire. I like fire. It looks like it looks like it's on a flame, you know, like a flaming sword. Like Game of Thrones, right? What was the name of that character in Game of Thrones? Put it in the comments below. This is stable. Back to stable. So, um, yeah, like I said, in the, in the uh, description box, I have a uh, link to this uh, particular Saber and also to the Saber Forms website. Thank you, Saber Forms, for sending this to me. I'm going to give you one more. Um, that's right. We're up to number 12, aren't we? And it's uh, a special feature that's not on a lot of sabers, but it is on this one, and it's called tip drag. So tip drag, you ignite the saber. I'm going to hold the top button, right? And I'm going to tap. Here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to tap the table as I'm holding that button. Now see how the tip glows? So it looks like I'm cutting through the tabletop, right? And it'll hold that so I can go over here and I can pretend I'm cutting through a wall or somebody's hand or something like that until I let go of, and then it goes back to normal. So that's tip drag. And that is unusual. You don't see that on a lot of lightsabers. That is definitely a premium effect. All right, so that's 12 reasons why you want this Saber Forms lightsaber. 
And this one in particular is called the Judger or just Judger. And uh, like I said, link in the, the uh, description below. And uh, one more bonus thing. This thing is really tough. Like this polycarbonate tube here, you could totally duel with this. Totally. I mean, now don't get me wrong. There are electronics in here, so you don't want to go bashing it up against a steel pole or something. But if you were going to cosplay or if you were going to do a demonstration at a uh, an expo or something like that, at a convention, a Comic-Con, you could totally do that. And um, I would say you could do medium to maybe a little bit of heavy dueling with this. You know, so this is this is great for cosplay, great for dueling, great for spinning. And uh, I'll have videos where I spin it for you. I'll show you how to do the obi -Ani in like five minutes. Uh, all right. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below because I love to answer comments. And if you know my channel, you know I answer just about every comment that I get. So thanks again, Saber Forms, for sending this to me to show to you. And I hope you like it. And again, I hope you use that affiliate link. If you do, you will help me. If you want to help me now, hit like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Let me know how I'm doing. Have a great day. May the force be with you.